Hey everybody, this is the uh, food forest video part two. Uh, this, uh, I'm st still on the south side of the house and this is the uh, um, part that says kind of a pepper patch, uh, the orange trees. I really need to get in here and clean some of this out, clean around the orange trees. Uh, I will have to put uh, Christmas lights in them uh, pretty soon because uh, it can get below uh, 20 degrees here and when that happens um, it doesn't happen too often, but when it does happen, the the uh, um, the citrus have to have some protection from the cold, and and that comes through the electric lights. Uh, Christmas lights seem to work just fine. This is a uh, um, golden boy pear tree. This is like one of these southern pears. This particular variety uh, was found growing uh, by an abandoned farmhouse in Florida. Uh, about 40 years ago, the tree was about 100 years old. The house had not been um, occupied for a long time. And this is this has turned out to be one of the very, very best uh, southern varieties. Uh, uh, a lot of good pears in the south are the result of accidental seedlings coming up and turning out to be good. Uh, this is another citrus tree. The, the vines here are muscadine vines, which is a native grape that's been improved. Here's my little uh, winter vegetable gardens, mostly turnips, uh, rutabaga and mustard greens, some cabbage, some uh, cauliflower, um, those kinds of things. And here in South Georgia do better in the winter. Some winter garlic. Uh, I have a little, uh, another pepper patch. This is, these are my poblano peppers. Of course, they're on their way out. There's another uh, improved Chickasaw plum. This one's actually commercially available. This is a Guthrie plum. Uh, this one here is a uh, um, Odom plum. It's also commercially available through Just Fruits and Exotics. I have some other plums in the back that I have worked on. Various um, Some of these plums have different varieties, um, like this one here it has about five or six varieties grafted into it. Started out as a tools heirloom, which is an improved Chickasaw plum that came down through my family. I have different varieties uh, grafted into it which I'm trialing. This is a, uh, another hybrid that I'm trying in our climate just to see how it does. It's called Excelsior, it's a red plum. This is a Bowie plum, which is a local improved Chickasaw variety that was uh, preserved by an African-American family, they, which they've owned since uh, slavery times. Uh, there's a little improved Chickasaw plum here from Mississippi. It's unnamed. Uh, it's one that came to me uh, 